All right, happy Monday morning, guys. We're doing another box, another PSA return box. He's going a little slow this morning. Just got my coffee. Excited about this. Are these 19 again? Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. It's weird that they come in nineteens. All right, Monday morning. We're gonna start with ten, but since it's a Monday, if we don't have a bunch of good cards here, I might have to do some more. I need a good Monday, you know what I mean? But I am really enjoying breaking this up into multiple days that I have a little something to look forward to every morning when I wake up. This has just been so much fun. This card looks nice. Little ding here. Just a little whitening though. Good centering. Um, I'm going to guess this is from the 90s. Whatever card this is. Just feels like one of the older looking cards. Femoref Enchantress. Visions. A shocking submission by myself. Terribly centered. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> but again, this was just a test run. Wanted to see how these cards grade. I probably knew it was off-centered. I just want to see like how much you get docked for this sort of thing. I'm going to guess it's in pretty minty condition, other than the centering. But it's very off-centered. I'm going to guess it's an 8. And if it's a 9, I'll be happy. To nine okay everything is pretty minty about this card the centering is just bad and docked it a full number which makes perfect sense nothing too exciting with that card femoref enchantress last i looked that wasn't let me see i'm gonna look this card up right now visions it's got to be it's a reserve list visions card it's like a $15 card. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I submitted this. Oh, well, that's cool. Probably not very many of those in the PSA pop count. But uh, on to the next one. This card looks quite minty and old. Hopefully it's not a femorific enchantress. It is. What was I doing? And there's a huge ding in it. What was I thinking? I don't know. This hopefully is a nine, but it's probably an eight centered better than the last one but there is a a mark in it i'm surprised i would send that to be honest that might have happened in transit or something a nine one little ding it looks pretty nice other than that man not what i was expecting for my monday morning i need some bangers you know what i mean I need something to slap hard we got a uh... this card looks Decent. There's a tiny bit of edge wear. Maybe a little smudge here. I could have cleaned a little bit better. But the centering is nice. It's a shallow grave. Another reserve list. Mirage card. 1996. Okay, so clearly I was just experimenting with what these cards would do as far as grading goes. This looks pretty nice. It's probably a 9. Could be an 8. Centering's pretty off. I'm going to guess this is an 8. There's kind of a little bit of whitening, whitening marks. And then the centering's not very good. Let's go 8. Yep, near mint 8. Turn it into a pro, guys. I'm turning into a grading pro. Um, this card looks good. Nothing I see on the surface. Very nice edges, very nice corners. This card so far is a 10. Debt of Loyalty. See, this card, 
I definitely sent in some some cheaper reserve list cards. Um, but the artwork on this card is really cool, so can't really blame myself. These other two, I don't know, probably not the best decision. Although when I sent these in, it was literally nine dollars a card to get graded. So it's like I wish I had sent more reserve list cards, even if they're cheap. Like it's in hindsight such a good deal. Um, but anyway, this could be a 10. I'm going to guess 9. There's like a couple little flaking marks here on the edges. Centering's perfect, though. The back looked really good. This is a minimum 9, possibly a 10. I don't see anything on the surface, so let's go 9 or 10. Mint 9, Debt of Loyalty. Pretty cool reserve list card from Weatherlight. That's our first Weatherlight card. Uh, I think it's, yeah, I think it's our first weather light card. There's a little ding in this corner here. But other than that, this card looks really good. Retribution of the Meek. Visions. Reserved list. This card looks well-centered. It looks really nice. Maybe a little smudge I could have wiped off. I see down here. Um, I think there's a little piece of plastic in there. Or maybe it's a smudge that I could have wiped off. This card looks really nice, though. This is at least a 9, I think. Don't see anything on the surface. This is also just a card that I thought was really cool. The dragon in the back. Um, it's like a board wipe card. Just a really cool, cool artwork. Cool style of art, like... Those, another one of those vintage cards that just looks really sweet. So I'm going to guess on this a 9, but it's a possible 10. It looks really good. Oh, what? A 5. Okay, so we definitely have something in the surface somewhere. Hmm. Or maybe a corner... No. It's got to be something major. I mean, I don't know. Interesting. Oh. I think there's a crease in the card. It also, look at all the, actually, you know what? Look at the ink on this card. It's like, it bled. It's super dark in here and bled into the red dots and everything. Like, look how much darker. I don't know if you can see it on camera. But this whole, this is like a misprinted card. There's a bunch of really dark ink in here. That's got to be what it is maybe a slight crease as well okay so i gotta be a little more careful submitting but uh that's our first major disappointment out of all the cards we've gotten is getting a five but that's part of the experience i suppose uh this card i'm gonna have to start looking at the ink now this card looks pretty good maybe a little a little bit of corner wear Oh, Hall of Gemstones, one of my all-time favorite artworks. I don't know why, I just always was drawn to this card. Um, reserve list, Mirage. I really like just the Mirage style of, of cards. They were really cool. Always fun opening. Um, it's an Enchant World. It's pretty cool. Uh, centering is a little off. Like I said, on the back there was a little wear, and up here there's like a little couple of dings. I'm going to guess this is a 9 but I wouldn't be surprised if it's an eight. Eight. Interesting. Okay. Sometimes you just gotta take an eight and move move on, deal with it. Can't all be perfect. There is a substantial mark in here and here. This kind of looks like a newish card too. Um, I think just like the 
coloring in the cards are a little lighter on the newer stuff. Oh, Aether Vial Foil. Modern Masters. I didn't even know I had this card. Uh, the foiling looks very nice. Man, if it wasn't for the back, if it wasn't for those dings on the back, this would be a 10, I think. The surface is really nice. The foiling is really nice. But unfortunately, because of the back, I think this is going to have done enough to be a 9. Enough damage. An 8. Ah, oh, crap. Hmm. It is a pretty substantial ding here. There's like one two kind of there's two significant ones in a little corner one shoot I, I don't even know honestly if i looked at the back of these cards before i submitted them um but oh well aether vial foil eight kind of disappointing so far today mostly mostly cards below nine so far we need some 10s. This one looks good. This is a possible 10. This card is a possible 10 so far. Whoa. Whoa. Might of Oaks. Foil. Urza's Destiny. Oh no, this is Urza's Legacy. The hammer. With the, the shooting star. And now today, the, the since Modern Masters and a couple others, I mean, uh, well, uh, Modern Horizons two, and then some other sets, the squirrels are so popular. This card with the squirrel art is really cool. One of my favorites. I always liked the squirrels. This, I don't know how. I mean, this card looks very mint for an old foil. Sometimes the old foils kind of like get cloudy and this one does not look clouded it looks really nice i would absolutely love a 10 in this card it's a cool display card for me i think i like this oil squirrel but let's see it's got to be at least a nine i'll be disappointed if it's worse than a nine a seven no way And they're really tough on these older cards. Foiling to me looks really good. And I didn't see anything very significant on the back. A little bit on the corners, but a seven? Huh. Okay. It's a seven. That's too bad. That is too bad. Okay, this card looks perfect. This card looks very good. It looks like a, maybe a newer card from the 2000 teens or something. Oh, whoa, this is an old card. Gush. Foil Gush from Mercadian Masks. The back looks perfect. The front, come on, this looks perfect. Just 10 me. Give me a 10 on an old foil. A mint nine. It is a little slightly off centered. Man, they're tough on these old cards. The foiling on them is just, that one's really good. An old gush. Okay, very, it's, those old foils are quite collectible. So I'm not surprised I sent them in. Not the best grades, but what can you do? This card looks nice. These are definitely not pack fresh either. Those have been ones that were sitting around for a while. Thawing Glaciers. Reserve list rare. Land from Alliances. There is a smudge here. I should have cleaned that card better. I'm going to guess it's a 9. Otherwise, it looks like it'd be a 10, I think. Oh, we tend it. Thawing Glaciers. Very cool. Reserve list. Awesome. I really liked Alliances. Great, great set. Great to get a 10 in the close of today's video. Man, today was rough, actually. We had every other video we've had so far. 
have been like pretty solid. We did get 110 though. We got three nines. This is probably one of the better cards that we had today. I guess the Aether Vial foils, pretty expensive. It would have been nice to get a nine or a 10 on that one. Um, mostly cheaper cards today. Um, and a five, we got a five and I still don't know why. Oh yeah, we do. It was the, it's uh, bleeding, bleeding ink. But man, a 10 on the Thawing Glaciers is pretty cool. Reserve list. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll have uh, some more cards tomorrow. I want to drag this out. This has been so fun for me. We'll do uh, like nine more cards tomorrow. And then we have two more boxes. So throughout this week, this is what I'm doing every morning. Really enjoying it. And uh, yeah, see you tomorrow. Thank you. Have a great week.